Happy Fourth of July! Hey, hey neighbors, this is Joshua Sherman. Kelly Christensen. And Chloe Christensen. And this is Cooking, Cooking with Casey Realty, Realty Group. Group. As you know, if you've worked with us in the past, each month we send out a recipe card. In this video, we will be going over how to make this recipe and make sure you stick around until the end for an honest review. Since July 4th is right around the corner, we decided that we're gonna show you how to make a star spangled trifle. So let's get into it. You're going to need one angel food cake, two packages white chocolate flavored pudding, four cups 2% milk, eight ounces whipped topping light, three cups blueberries, three cups of strawberries. Before we get started, one of the most important things is to make sure that you wash your fresh produce. To prep the strawberries, you're gonna start by cutting off the top and then slicing it into thin slices. And make sure you snack along the way. Then you're gonna take your two boxes of the white chocolate jello mix and mix it with four cups of milk. You're gonna slowly mix in your four cups of milk into your pudding mixture. And then you're going to beat this for two minutes. Oh, my arm is getting tired. Why don't you just use the stand mixer? You have a stand mixer? Once you're done mixing, you're gonna set this aside for five minutes. Don't forget to clean as you go. Next, you're gonna prep your angel food cake by cutting it into one inch cubes. If you can't make your own, store-bought's just fine. So what do I do with this Cool Whip? You fold it into the pudding mixture. How do I fold it in? I don't know, just fold it in. Okay, but how do I fold it in? Do I just like... I don't know, I can't tell you everything, Joshua. Now that the angel food cake is done being cute, you're gonna take some to save for the top later. And the remaining, you're going to divide in half. You're going to put half in the bottom of the trifle dish. Make sure you reserve a few blueberries for the top, but the rest of them will go on top of the angel food cake layer. You're going to take half of your whipped cream and pudding mixture and layer it on top of the blueberries. For some extra curb appeal, you can line the edges with strawberries. Now that you've done some landscaping, you wanna take the remainder of your cubed cake and place it on the top of the pudding mixture. On top of the cubes, you're gonna put a thin layer of strawberries. And now you're going to add the remainder of your mixture on top of the strawberries. With the fruit we saved earlier, we're gonna make a fun star-spangled design on top. And now, with that Star Spangled design, you're ready to serve. All right, so this is the Star Spangled Trifle. Let's take a bite, everyone. I'm gonna make sure to get everything. Yeah, hmm. Mm. That's really good, do you like it? I don't love Cool Whip, but it's still really good. It's really good. I'm loving it. Oh uh, yeah, the angel food cake is really good. Good mm -hmm. job on making Very it. Very good. Surprisingly not overly sweet. It's not sweet. That's probably why I do like it. Good job, team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Is it, I think that the quality of the taste is gonna depend on the fruit. I agree. Yeah. The strawberries It'll are delicious. It'll change a lot. Because mm -hmm. I mean, yes. that's why I like the strawberries, because I think they taste a little bit better mm -hmm. than the blueberries. 
five. That's really good. Well, thank you for spending time with Casey Realty Group in the kitchen. I hope we all see you next month when we're doing, do we know what we're doing next month? Not yet. Not yet. Well, if you get your carbs, uh, you'll know what we do next month before we do. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.